Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. How are you? In this video, we are going to know how cyclones are formed and what are the differences between hurricanes, cyclones and typhoons. Okay, so first let us come to the common point between all these weather phenomena that is strong wind. So in hurricanes, typhoons and cyclones, we will find strong winds. So what is the difference between all these three? All these three are same, means the event is same, but they are having different names. Hurricane, typhoon and tropical cyclone are the same events, but the name given to it is different. Why? Based on what we will know in this video. So first, what are tropical cyclones? Let us know that. Tropical cyclones. Tropical cyclones occur only in the regions of warm ocean waters. So warm ocean waters, where are they? Near the equator. So the equator is there. Near that equator, the warm ocean waters which are there, there the tropical cyclones occur. Okay. Next point is, how is this cyclone formed? So we need to see a warm ocean water body. Okay, let us take this is the warm ocean water body. And from this water body, whatever the warm air is there, it rises up. From this surface, it rises up and goes up. Okay, this is the water surface, what ocean water body. Okay, from there, it goes up. Okay, when it goes up, the surface which is having here high pressure becomes low. Means this will become an area of low pressure. Okay, I am repeating it. So this is a warm ocean water body. From here, whatever the warm air is there, it will rise up. Okay, so friends, when this warm air rises up, then the air from the surrounding areas which is having high pressure will come and fill this vacuum. Okay, so it will fill this vacuum and that air will also join with this and it will become warm and it will go into the air. Okay, now this full air will start rotating with increasing speed. Why increasing speed? Because more air is coming from the surrounding areas and filling this vacuum. It is becoming warm air and again it is rising up. So it will increase its speed. Okay. Due to this there will be rotation in these winds and it will have increase in speed. So friends when this speed is 39 miles per hour it is known as tropical storm. And when this speed reaches 74 miles per hour, it is known as tropical cyclone or hurricane. So depending on the location, cyclones are given different names, means like hurricane, cyclone and also typhoon. Okay. So when this is happening, this event is happening in Northeast Pacific and Atlantic oceans, it is known as hurricane. When it is occurring in Northwest Pacific, it is known as typhoon. When it is occurring in South Pacific and Indian Ocean, it is known as cyclone. Okay. So next, cyclone occur clockwise and hurricane occurs counterclockwise. Okay. Tropical cyclones range from 100 to 2000 kilometers diameter and they can grow up to a height of 10 kilometers. And they usually weaken when they hit the land because they are no longer fed by the energy that is coming from warm ocean bodies. One of the major example of cyclone in India is Cyclone Amphan. It damaged West Bengal and its bordering states. 